the SAS video tutorial on hypothesis tests for location in SAS. Okay, this is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, and of course, anybody can use this. Okay, we're going to pick up where we left off before. We've been playing with this Cycler CPK data, just to be consistent. You can go and read it in from the repository below, look at the video on how to read it in, and this will get us going. Okay, we've been playing with proc univariate on several of the videos leading up to now, and proc univariate is quite powerful. So the next thing we want to do is, other than histograms and confidence intervals, is how about a hypothesis test? Well, we noticed that in the output before there was a hypothesis test, but it was mu naught equals zero, and that's often not a really good hypothesis to test, even though it gives you great p-values, especially if your data is anywhere away from zero. So all we have to do is, in our proc univariate statement, is put in the mu that we're interested in. So I'm going to put in here mu zero, and then I'm going to put in the actual value that I'm interested in. Okay, so I'm going to make this capitalized. Mu zero and the value that I'm interested in. Remember, we're playing with the cycler CPK data and the variable we're interested in is age. And I'm going to say, can we test to see whether the mean age is 25 or not? So this is the mean or the center or location of the center for the distribution. So if I run this, this will give me the following output. If I scroll up here, notice it says test for location. Mu naught is equal to 25. Now, what's really interesting about this particular procedure is it gives me lots of tests for this. So it gives me the student's t-test, which produces a p-value of 0 0.0007. So most people would deem that statistically significant. The sign test, uh, it computes a 7.5 for the sign test, and it gives me a p-value of 0 0.0237. So using this one, you might say, um, maybe or maybe not is significant, depending on your significance level. And the sign rank test is also here, and it gives a p-value of 0 0.0004. So we have three tests for location that SAS automatically gives you just as soon as you specify the location. And that's pretty good. So if you're only interested in the hypothesis test, testing whether or not you're at a location or not, this is an easy way to do this. Okay, so this is quick, easy, and now we can move on to the next video.